another year, but Caitlin Clark, it's just effortless for her. Just smooches it off the window. Caitlin Clark unloads from the end zone. Swim team, she's so excited to be here, and she's most excited that she gets to wave from down here up towards the kids, and, and you will see that in three minutes and three seconds. We'll see Caitlin Clark right here on the previous drive, just a whirling dervish to the rim and got hit. You hear that whistle, you throw the ball to the basket, and that's exactly what she did on that play. and one of the all-time Iowa greats. Her jersey is actually retired here at Iowa. We're sitting here, you just heard more than 55,000 fans inside of Kinnick Stadium for women's basketball. How cool is this? It's incredible. I mean, just to be able to be back here, uh, just to see the Hawk fans again, it's bringing back a lot of memories, and I'm just so proud to be an alum. Just to see where the program has gone since I've been there. Um, you know, it's just exciting to see that the nation is out, and they're supporting, and they're watching, and to see what Iowa women's basketball is all about. You were a major catalyst for this program. You had a very storied career all the way up, graduated in 2019, just finished your season with the Phoenix Mercury and the WNBA. How interesting has it been to see, though, the program continuing to rise and all of the attention it's garnered throughout the country and the world? It's a testament to our program and our coaches and what they've instilled in, in the players that it's more than just basketball. The coaches, they care about you as basketball players, but more so off the court, and that's what really drew me to them. Um, obviously, the crowd has also drawn, drawn me to Iowa. Um, I'm just really happy to be a part of today and uh, just to see where the program's gone. Something that's unique about Iowa is they've had dominant post players throughout the years. You were one of them, Monica Sonano, last year. Jan Jensen, a huge reason, huge reason why this post player development is at a high level. What has she done for you in your career? She's incredible. Um, I love her style. It's old school. It's traditional. It's fundamental. Um, and I think she really instilled that into me right away. And, you know, I might not have the fanciest moves, but I get the job done inside. Um, and I was able to to just learn from her. Um, she instilled confidence in me each and every day. Um, and efficiency was what she really worked on. And I didn't dribble much. She didn't let us dribble. But, it, I mean, it worked out for us. And um, it led to, to be able to, to do what I did. So just proud, thankful. And it's really fun to see all the other post players out there. Uh, yeah, it led you to some hardware. You know, you don't need to be that fancy. You still have a lot of game to back it up with for sure. Uh, how cool has it been to see a player like Caitlin Clark as an Iowa alum just kind of take over the world like she has? It's incredible. You know, I know obviously I watched her in, in high school and I heard about her and, you know, got her to, to come to Iowa and um, just to be part of her recruiting story was really, really special. And so just to see her now, uh, just couldn't be prouder. You know, she's she's really putting putting it on for, for Iowa and, and the nation. So just happy, excited, um, couldn't be more proud. Hold on. Part of the recruiting story, what did you tell Caitlin Clark in order to get her to come to Iowa? I mean, Iowa sells itself, honestly. You know, I think just having her in, in for official visits and stuff like that, I mean, Iowa, it really does sell itself. Coaches are amazing. The, the facilities are incredible. Um, you know, the players are so fun to be around. And so I know I know what it was like, obviously, being recruited from Iowa, that I was comparing everything to them. And so I know that she was doing the same thing. And now you can come play in front of 55,000 fans if you wanted to. Exactly. I think we should have every home game here. <laughs> um, I don't know if you forget because you've been out in Phoenix. It's a little cold here in January, February, and March, but uh, maybe you can run that by Coach Bluter. We'll see what she says. He heated courts, maybe. That could help. <laughs> we'll work on it. Megan Gustafson saying we need some heated courts. We needed some games in February. Maybe a Big Ten matchup could be fun, guys. Hey, it's the sun. Did we get a suntan? That's it, money. Let's go. Need it. There we go.
No, I got it figured out now. Three. Three in a row. That was in. Yep, I got it. 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 How cool is this? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's so good for Iowa, but for the game in general, and so happy I could come back and witness it myself. You are one of the players. We talked to Megan Gustafson earlier, a teammate of yours formerly. But you're one of the players who got Iowa really on the map nationally. They went to the national championship game this past year. What has it been like for you watching the progress of this program? It's so cool, especially for these coaches. They've been here and working together for so long. And they work so hard, and they're just genuinely such great people. So seeing them succeed and seeing the program just keep raising the level for Iowa, but also for the game, is just so special. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. We talked about Jan Jensen developing the post players. Lisa Bluter is one of the greatest coaches in women's basketball. She's developed you as a guard. What did she teach you that really allowed you to take your game to the next level? She really coaches a team game and she teaches you how to win as a team. So she just teaches you all the intangibles and she puts you in position that su to succeed as your game allows you to. So she just all around, I mean, she's one of the best to ever do it. So really lucky to have played for her. You played point guard for her. There's another pretty good point guard on the floor right now. And Caitlin Clark, how would you describe her game and why she's been so successful here? She's just different. Like, she, her confidence, the way she carries herself, she just, she knows that she's the best player on the floor when she steps out there, and it shows in how she performs and produces for us. And I'm glad to be the Hawkeye, that's for sure. You see a team now coming up here that's going to be without a couple of players. What do you foresee for them for the future? I think they'll adjust and they'll be great this year. I mean, like I said, Coach Wooder puts teams in, in positions to succeed, and I, I have no doubts that she'll do the same for this team. And again, we've got a pretty good point guard on our squad, so I, I wouldn't bet against us. NBA players play overseas, and there it is an assist for Clark and a triple double outside. It's been said before, but what can't Caitlin Clark do? want to say a huge thank you to everybody that made this day so special for the University of Iowa, the state of Iowa, and our women's basketball program. Nowhere, nowhere in the country could this happen except for at the University of Iowa. All of you were a part of history today. Thank you. I want to give a special shout out to our administration, our facilities people, our ticketing people, our unbelievable band. The cheer squad, the dance team, you are all a part of this. But most importantly, every single fan. God bless you.